Hi guys, uh, I jumped on the bandwagon and got the Ipsy X for February because of Bailey Sarian, because I love her. So if you want to see what I got in my box, stick around. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy and I'm really happy that you're here. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what they chose for me what my choices were and what I chose. And then at the end, we're going to talk about my feelings about this box. That way, that way, if you want all the positivity and light, you can leave then and then you can hear my actual feelings about the box if you want to stick around. So let's do this. All right. So again, I love Bailey Sarian. I love her. I love watching her. I love watching her do makeup. Um, and I love listening to the murder mysteries because that's, that's my jam. So when I had, I had canceled Ipsy a while back. So when, so when I saw that she was going to be the curator, for lack of a better word, uh, for this box, then I was like, yes, I want it. I saw the things. Um, I saw the things that could potentially be in the box. I saw the things that the PR people were going to get. Let's put it that way. Um, all of the amazing things that could be in the box. So, uh, yeah. So let's just see what they chose for me. Let's do that first. Um, first of all, here's our little thing and she's beautiful and I love her. I really do. I really do love, love watching her. And, um, so is everybody else. That's, I bet, honestly, I bet this was one of the highest selling boxes that they had. So I was really excited about the things that could potentially be in this box. Of the things that they showed, I got one, one thing, and I'll show you that. And this I'm very, actually very excited about because I wanted to try it. I really was hoping that this was going to be in my box. And this is the Proteiny Power Peptide Resurf Serum from Drunk Elephant. Yes, I wanted this. I wanted to try a Drunk Elephant product. This is what the bottle looks like. It's uh, one fluid ounce. I'm sure you just use just a little bit of it. So I don't know. I may, I'm really happy. I'm really happy that that was in there. The next thing is the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Forever Matte. And this is a lippy. And it is in the shade, it's in the shade 192 Toffee at All Hours. And this is what she looks like. This is definitely one of my shades. I'm pretty happy to be able to try it. That is the shade and I love, I love uh, toffees and browns and things like that. So that's cool. Um, the next thing that they chose for me is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It is a full size product. Oh, I didn't tell you this. This has eight, eight things in it. Eight products in it. Five that they choose for you and three that you choose. And this is what that looks like. I'm not going to open it, although it does have an hourglass brush, it looks like. And um, I do like the hourglass brushes. So I've never tried this before. So that's cool. I'm happy that, I guess I'm happy that I get to try it. Okay. The next thing I got is the Grown, Grown Alchemist Night. It's so tiny. Um, Grown Alchemist Generating Night Cream. Now I have used this before. It does have quite the rosy scent to it. If it's, if it's the one that I thought, the one that I think it is, um, my tube was like twice as, twice this size. Well, maybe not twice, but it was, it was, it was quite a large tube. I want it in a giveaway. And I feel like I want it in a giveaway from Mary MZ, uh, Beautifying MZ. Um, and I really liked it. It does have a rose scent to it, which is not my favorite, but I really loved the way it worked. I was using it at a time when my skin was very precarious and it seemed to really help. 
Um, the last thing that they chose for me that I'm not happy about, and it will be going in, in a giveaway, is the Georgette Clinger Rose Clarifying Toner. I have had the cleanser, not the honey cleanser, but it was a different, I can't remember what it was. And I used maybe half of it and then I decluttered it because I did not like it. And I'm pretty sure this probably has a seal on it. Yeah, I, I don't know if it really smells strongly of roses. I have a ton of toners that I know that I like, so I won't be using this. Okay, the three things that I had to choose from, or the three things that I chose. The first thing I had, and I'll put a picture up here. I had the Beauty For Real Essential Pro Brush Collection, uh, the Aether Beauty Manifest Crystal Palette, the Fenty Fly Pencil, the KVD Mod Con Liquid Gel Blush, uh, the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Mark Fading Gel, and the Voir Perfecting Prism Color Protecting, I think it's a pre-shampoo. Um, that part was cut off from my screenshot. So the thing that I chose was I chose the Beauty For Real brushes. I had no interest in the Aether Beauty. Um, I had no interest in the Aether Beauty palette. I kind of was, it was between these and the liquid gel blush from KD, KVD, just because I know I like KVD products. Um, and also the Kate Zumberville Acne Mark Fading Gel. I do have some acne scarring. Okay, I got these out. So these are, they look like really nice brushes. I don't believe I have any brushes from Beauty For Real. So I, I chose the brushes. I thought that that was um, probably the thing that I would like the best out of all of that. Okay, the next thing I had to choose from, or the next uh, set of choices, was the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lipstick in Rosy Brown, the Item Beauty Slick Type Cleansing Balm, Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen, Aromatherapy De-Stress Muscle Gel, or the Five Scents Catch Feelings, uh, which I am pretty sure was a fragrance. I'm going to say no to every fragrance they try to give me. I'm not a big fan of random perfume. I chose the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lipstick in Rosy Brown. This is what it looks like, and this is the shade and it's really pretty and I like it. I really like that shade. Um, I was watching, I'm pretty sure it was Jen Beauty, Jen B. Uh, she's a, she has an affinity for Tarte. She loves her some Tarte. So I remember her talking about these. And so when I saw that, I'm like, mm, I'm going to try those. So I wanted that one. Nothing else really. I have a cleansing balm that I absolutely love. I'm not a big brow in person, um, no, not a fragrance person, and definitely not uh, the de-stress muscle gel. I don't need that. Okay, my last set of choices. The Ipsy Serpent Sack. The Artist Couture Love Sprung Face Palette. The Natasha Denona Lipophoria in Mauve. The Rin Clean Skin Care. It's a gentle cleansing milk and the Fenty Body Sauce Body Luminizing Tint. Um, I have already had the Artist Couture Love Sprung Face Palette. I did give that away. I think I put it in a giveaway. Uh, the Cleansing Milk was, yeah, maybe. Um, the Body Luminizing Tint, I have so many body drops, body luminizing things that I definitely didn't want that. The Serpent Sack, I know that people really thought that that was cute. So I chose the Natasha Denona Lip Ophoria in Mauve. This is what the packaging looks like. I have a couple of Lip Ophoria things and I like them. And it is Natasha Denona. And this really doesn't, it's, I wouldn't call that a mauve. Huh. I really wouldn't call that a mauve. I would call that a nude. It has a very minty scent to it. The lipophorias that I have are duochromes, actually. So this is pretty tame. 
compared to those, but, and it is a gloss, but what I did was I decided to choose the things that I thought were higher dollar amount. Um, I know the Fenty is probably a pretty high dollar amount, um, but I don't need that. I don't need that. And I thought I would get more use out of this, even though I don't really wear glasses, glosses. Um, I thought I would get more use out of the Natasha Denona Lip Euphoria than anything else. So that's what I got in my box. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about what I got in the box. And if you want to continue with the positivity and light, although I'm pretty sure there wasn't a whole lot of positivity and light in here, um, and you don't want to hear my actual thoughts about the box, then thank you so much for watching me open my Ipsy Glam Bag X for the month of February. I appreciate being here. Okay, you guys, for all of you that are left, I'm so disappointed. I feel like I am more disappointed. I've only gotten one other Ipsy X. And that was on a whim, and I don't know why I did it. It was the Item Beauty, it was the Addison Ray, whatever. I wasn't happy with it. But for the way that they hyped this box, I thought it was going to be an amazing box for $60. $60 is what, $58, $58 is what we paid for this box. And I am not happy with the choices and I think that there's just a bunch of lies going on. Um, all of these, when you go to choose, and you can see, I'll put the picture right back up here. It says Glam Bag X exclusive. That's a lie. That Aether Beauty palette has been all around, all around for like two years now. The Georgette Klinger stuff, the Grown Alchemist, that has been around Ipsy for at least two years now. I can't believe that they are trying to pull that off as being Ipsy X exclusive. Maybe exclusive right now. Maybe you can't get them in the, in the add-ons, but they're not exclusive. They've been on Boxy. They've been on Ipsy. They've been all over the place. I was so disappointed. Um, my best friend, Dina, and I, we went to dinner tonight and we were talking because she actually, she gets the little glam bag and she got the X because she, again, loves Bailey Syrian. She got hair clips. I don't even have them. She gave them to me because she has really short hair. Uh, she got hair clips. It's a set of three claw clips that you could get seriously at the Dollar Tree. There's nothing special about them. The fact that she got this in her box, I was pissed off for her. Um, she did get the Drunk Elephant. She got the Scott Barnes palette. Uh, the things that were supposed to, well, not supposed to be, the things that they advertised were going to be in there uh, were the, the Drunk Elephant, the Scott Barnes palette, contour palette, and the Pat McGrath Labs lippies. Now, I have seen my fellow YouTube creators, my friends, um, get the Scott Barnes, get the Pat McGrath, um, in their box. So I'm glad to see that smaller YouTubers, smaller compared to the people that are getting the PR. Um, I'm happy to see that other people got those things as well, but this was the biggest waste of money. It was a big waste of money. I will probably never get another Ipsy X ever because this burned me. I feel like I've been scammed out of $60 and that hurts my heart a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I did resubscribe to the glam bag, the regular glam bag in order to get this. I have not canceled my glam. I have canceled my ex. I went on and canceled like boom. As soon as I got it, I went on and canceled it. But, uh, I did not cancel the glam, the regular glam bag. Cause I think I'm going to keep it for a few months because I actually really like the glam bag and I like the minis that we get. And, um, I've seen my bag that's coming for March and I actually really like it. I get three makeup products out of five. So, um, that was actually a really nice thing. And I have burned through so many of my, my minis, my deluxe samples that, yeah, I, I think that, uh, I'm going to keep it for a little bit, but 
this box was wretched. Like I am not happy at all with it. So uh, let me know you guys in the comments below if you got the X, if you're happy with what you got. Um, if you think that they're a little scammy, if you think they like, like a little scammy, um, saying all of this amazing stuff that's, you know, could potentially be in your box and then they give you stuff that's been around for two, three years. So I don't know. That's, those are just my feelings. Those are my, uh, my personal opinions. And, uh, if you loved what you got, I'm really happy. I'm really happy that you did. Uh, so you guys, thanks so much for joining me today for my Ipsy Glam Bag X. I really do appreciate you being here. Until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.